President Biden's massive social spending bill is heading to the Senate next week. It comes as the NPR Maris released a new poll on President Biden's approval rating, dropping to lows of 42 percent approval. Joining me now, Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Uh, the Congresswoman sits on both the Foreign Affairs Committee and the Small Business Committee. Congresswoman, always a pleasure to see you. Does this monstrosity, this spending monstrosity, have a shot in the Senate, in your view? Let's, ho let's hope not. Uh, I... Just to coin a phrase from the, my days in the New York State Assembly, we used to call big omnibus bills the big ugly. This is the biggest big ugly I've ever seen. And there's so many parts of this, you know, especially the part dealing with giving amnesty and, and uh, free reign to illegal immigrants. Uh, that's probably going to come out with a parliamentarian. But there's so much else in this bill that's going to really harm our business community, including over 70 percent of energy is now going to be taxed. That's going to affect people that are in the lower lower income levels and also our small business community. You're going to see this huge, uh, you know, new core of IRS agents all getting pensions mm -hmm. and health care and, and being empowered to go after our small business community. I've just spoken with a few of them over the last few days. You know, they're, they're terrified of getting audited. They can't afford lawyers uh, to protect them in these situations. And so it's going to be a nightmare for us. And as we are here on Black Friday, uh, you were just speaking about uh, the looting and the other problems that are mm -hmm. happening with the small business community pushing people online. This is also going to have a devastating effect on on uh, our small business community. And they drive they drive our economy, particularly in upstate New York, where over 95 percent of our business is actually and our employers are, are actually small businesses. James Freeman, jump in here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Congresswoman, lots to uh, be concerned about in this. And I, I guess on the we've been talking about the the spending surge of this era, this is really going to create more of it. And also the the disincentives to work. I guess that's what I worry about is, is the, uh, the, the surge in benefit programs. I, I know uh, Casey Mulligan at uh, the University of Chicago and others have warned about this is going to exacerbate this problem where you, you further discourage people from work, adding new benefits of various kinds. Um, could we could we see an even tighter uh, labor shortage after this thing passes if it does? Oh, I, I believe so. And that problem is already a big problem after the pandemic. We have so many people who are choosing not to go back to work in my business. I mean, we've never had a bigger problem getting people to work. And it is the number one issue that is raised in the numerous small business roundtables we've held throughout the district over the past several months is getting people to come to work, the incentives that businesses are having to create just to get people to show up to work. And the, and the other thing that I was uh, talking to a, a business owner recently, they have people that are actually working that are working incredibly long hours that are getting fatigued mm -hmm. from just doing all the work because nobody shows up. And it really isn't so much a wage problem as, as it is just the, the inability to even open up, you know, sectors of their business because they can't get people to work. And this bill is literally the biggest you know, welfare system that we have put in place. And, you know, I understand we have to have systems for people who are truly needy, but this actually incentivizes people who are perfectly capable of work for not working. And uh, this is going to be a problem for employers. It's going to be a problem for our productivity and our dynamism and growing our economy and somehow emerging out of this inflationary problem that we have that looks like it's going to be here for a long time. I, I don't see an end in sight with this amount of spending. We're normalizing trillions and trillions of dollars in spending instead of having our organic growth through our through our mm -hmm. economic incentives like lower taxes and less government. But we're we're creating this another massive amount of government. And I mentioned the 87,000 new uh, IRS agents. You know, they're going to be over 300,000 civilian climate core government bureaucrats going out and making it impossible to do business. That's larger than our active duty Marine Corps right now. So you're, this is going to be hugely expensive, more inflation, more high cost and less incentives for small businesses and others with you know innovation and, and, and businesses that are emerging with entrepreneurship. That's just it's going to be a huge problem going forward. I think it probably is the single biggest problem when you see this amount of spending and this amount of entitlement going into a bill. Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, I'll never figure out why every Democrat got on board with it, except for one. I'll, I'll never one. figure out because, again, Nancy Pelosi, the bus, the Pelosi bus just ran you over. Um, Claudia Money Tenney, talks. I know. I, great to see you, Claudia Tenney. Thank you so much. Congresswoman, great. always a pleasure.